Morning. Well, here we are back in the little room. Um, tipping it down outside, so I didn't fancy doing a um, didn't fancy doing a class in the rain. So um, so we're back indoors, and um, but hopefully we'll be um, back outside again soon. So right, how are we for? Um, we just lift it up a little bit. Okay, perfect. Start. Um, we'll start. All right, big circles round. Nice and big. Really open up the shoulders. Okay, and then back the other way. And down, balance on one leg and rotate round. That's it, and then back the other way. Round and down, and the other leg. The other way. Round. And round. Okay, and then rolling down, so head down, shoulders in, roll all the way down. Sit to your fingers on or near the floor, just let the body hang. And then tuck your bottom under, roll all the way back up, and then drop down again, head down, shoulders in, roll down, all the way down, and tuck under, squeeze. And up we come. All right. So, oh, no, I need it down a little bit more. That's not the um, not the best, really. So, feet out, slightly wide, hands in front, and just drop, lift, drop, and up. Just nice and easy. And drop, lower, down. Lower, keep pulling those knees back. Okay, only go as far as you want. So if you're only dropping to here, that's fine. You can get that little bit deeper. Drop. Lower. Down. And four. Three. Two. And last one, drop down. Little bounces. Three, two, one. Okay, up we come. Feet hip distance apart there. And drop, lift, drop down, up, lower, and drop, lower, drop. Drop and lower. Keep those knees tracking parallel. Don't let them drop in towards each other. Four, three, two, one. Okay, and then feet nice and wide now. Hands in front and then lunge over to one side. Lift over to the other and lift. Drop, lift, and drop, up, over, and over, drop, and over, and four, three, two, 
two, and one. Okay, back and give the legs a good shake. Okay, the balance, so standing on one foot, lifting the knee up in front of you. You're gonna drop that leg down, lean forwards, stay as far as you're comfortable going and come back and lift up and drop down and forwards back and up keep those shoulders nice and relaxed stare at your fixed point in front of you drop down Forwards, back, and up, and one more, drop down, and forwards, and back, and up, drop down, give that leg a good shake, okay. And then to the other leg. So lift up, drop the leg down, and tilt forwards, and back in, and up, and drop down, and forwards, back. Left and lower down and forwards back and up and last one drop down and forwards and up and give the legs a good shake okay right we're going to do a bit of sideways um movement now just hope i'll do one i think you can see it enough in my legs you're going to step out to the side there okay then push off bring this leg behind and then drop okay so up drop over lift up and behind so up drop down lift and back that's it and over and back good little bit of a push off so once you've gone over there push and back and over that's it and drop over, brilliant, and drop, and last two, over, and drop, and over, and drop, all right, okay, well done, now we'll do the other leg, okay, and drop, and behind, that's it, Drop and leg behind, drop down and back and drop, that's it, and back, drop over and back, drop over and back and last one. Drop and back and out and give those legs a good, good shake. Okay, right. Let's come down now. All right, so on 
your side. Nice long straight line. If you can, pull in the side of the body off the floor. Just enough so your spine stays straight, but you're not just letting it curve, sink down into the floor. If you're not quite there yet, don't worry about it. But as long as you just keep thinking about it and just like, oh, ribs, don't let them sink. Ribs, and that way you'll work into your stabilising core muscles a little bit more. Okay, so we'll start with the foot lifted. In fact, no, I know what we'll do. Let me just move up here a little bit. We're going to do the three different levels, okay? So hand in front if you want for balance or your hand can come up on your side. We start with the foot level with the hip and you're just going to lift a little way. Lift and drop lift and lower that's it lift because we're going to get higher and higher lower lift and drop feel that pull right into the side of the bottom you should be resting on your hip bones your body's nice and straight no rolling back if you're feeling it in your thigh you've rolled back too much and if you're feeling it in your lower back or round here you've rolled forward too much okay lift lower now lift and hold that's your next starting point okay so lift a little bit more and drop lift lower brilliant lift and drop and lift and lower lift lower down and then lift this is your next starting point hold it there high as you can drop keep the toes and knee pointing forward lower this is the burning one lift drop and lift and drop and lift for four lower down three drop two and then last one lift up there little bounces five four three two one and drop down give that side of the bum a good hit and then just have a good rock a good um, movement forward and back. Okay, and then we're on to the other side. So, nice, long, straight line there. Hand in front, lift your foot so it's just level with your hip. And then nice and small lift, lower down, lift and lower. Keep the toe and knee pointing forward. Try and keep that little bit of a gap down the side of your body. Lift and drop. Lift. Lower. And lift. Lower. Lift. Drop. Lift. Lower down and then lift up. Hold it there. This is the second point. Lift and drop. Lift and lower keep that leg nice and straight lift i know it's tempting to modify your body once it starts getting harder but try and persevere through you're better off coming down and have a breather quick and then going back to it lift drop lift lower and then lift okay now at the highest point lift drop lift lower Lift and lift, lift, three, two, and then last one, lift up, hold, bounces, five, four, three, two, one and drop down hit into the side of your bottom that's it give it a bit of movement 
and well done okay just come onto your back and give those legs a very good shake all right okay let your legs drop out to the sides okay so you want to be resting up towards your ankle bone on your not on the edge of your foot easier feet in towards each other so the feet can push against each other a bit harder feet further away a little bit of a gap in between your feet okay so there tuck your bottom under press down on your feet lift you might not come up very high that's fine but keep the knees pulled back so you rolled right over up towards your ankle bone and lower lift and drop lift keep pulling the knees back keep the ribs down keep tucking your bottom under lower down and lift drop lift lower down and lift drop lift lower and lift drop three more lift keep pulling the knees back squeeze the bum cheek two drop and then last one come up and hold okay now you can either hold it up here or drop your hips down onto the floor now but keep your legs into the same position because now you're going to lift one leg drop it down lift the other leg and drop there keep the knees pulled back leg turned out drop and lift lower down lift lower and lift drop keep tucking the bottom under squeeze four drop down three lower keep tucking under squeeze two drop and last one lift lower down all the way down <clears throat> and again give those legs a good shake okay now feet out nice and wide this time toes pointing in so we're like that pigeon toed there knees <clears throat> pressed together so we're really going to now get in the outer thigh, hands clasped up, tuck under and lift, drop down, <clears throat> lift and lower. Keep pressing those knees together. Lift as you come up, ribs down, bottom under, feel that squeeze, drop and lift, drop, squeeze. Lower down and lift, drop, big squeeze, lower and lift, drop, four and three, drop, two and last one, keep tucking the bottom under, squeeze, come up, hold, that's it pull on the feet a little bit keep the knees pushing together and hold for eight seven six keep pulling your bottom towards your feet four three two one and lower down come out and again give those legs a good shake all right relaxing now soles of the feet together and just let those knees drop out to the side and just relax no tension there now and feet wide let those knees drop in <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, now sitting upright, hands behind your back and then just let the knee drop in and left, drop in and left, drop, up and drop, that's it, brilliant, and up drop down and lower you can even start and drop the legs both the same way okay so you drop down up uh, over up over left over and last one over okay <clears throat> and come back all right now side of the foot on your knee draw the legs in and change legs Okay, and then drop onto your side, grab your ankle, tuck your bottom under, try and keep the knees level, feel that pull all the way down the front of your thigh. Awesome, and then over onto the other side, grab the ankle, tuck under. Okay, and come back and just a little bit extra. So cross the leg over, <clears throat> place your calf on your knee, okay? And then just drop and lift the foot. Drop, lift, lower, drop. Now the other thing is as well, if it's tight or it hurts in a position where your calf is on your knee, um, try and leave it there. Okay, and then nice and slowly, there, drop and lift. Okay, now circles round, mobilise those ankles. And the other way. And then drop down, and then up, there, lift and lower. That's it, brilliant. And then circles round. And the other way. the feet a good shake slight bend in the knees now we want to tuck your bottom under keep your lower back pushed into the floor hands are either going to be on your thighs so you can use the thighs a little bit of help a little bit of guide or just up above your um, thighs okay big inhale breathe out head up shoulders up you're just peeling your back off the floor Squeeze. I want you to come to about here, but don't kick your bottom out. You still should be up on your lower back, top of your bottom. There. And then drop back down. Okay, if you're sliding your hands up your legs, that's it. Head up first. Roll the shoulders in. Squeeze. 
it's almost like you're trying to get your fingers to the tops of your knees and then drop down or hands behind or just underneath your bottom head up first shoulders keep the elbows wide belly button back squeeze and drop back down if you're not getting the shoulder blades off the floor don't worry about it you can literally just head up there keep your chin into chest you're getting that good squeeze throughout your tummy inhale back <clears throat> breathe out inhale back long steady exhale as you do it so you're getting rid of all the air out of your tummy cavity you're squeezing those abdominals to do that so belly buttons coming back but you've also remember that line from hip bone to hip bone and you're just trying to tighten it out inhale back and last two keep your chin into chest long steady exhale squeeze inhale back and breathe out and back bring the knees in and give them a good hug okay right so easiest for this you're going to start with a foot gently touching the floor both legs are bent this leg is going to come back towards your shoulders arms up Big inhale as you breathe out you swap the legs over okay this one gets harder the more you extend the legs and then obviously the more flexibility you've got in your hip flexors the more you're going to be able to draw this leg back so you will get uh, hip flexors hamstrings so you will be able to draw um, the leg back more so big inhale exhale switch inhale exhale so switch the legs over there so the idea for this is we're getting in those hip flexors as well if you've got any popping or clicking maybe just make the range of movement smaller inhale exhale there inhale exhale inhale exhale switch keep those ribs down feel that pull throughout the tummy inhale exhale switch inhale exhale switch inhale exhale switch and last two inhale exhale switch the legs over you should feel this in your thighs and your hip flexors as well inhale exhale switch and then come back bring those knees in okay right laying out i don't think i've done um any teaser much in the last few classes so um, I think we should probably do some now so tuck your bottom under again keep that lower back into the floor you can use your elbows you can pull on the back of your legs arms out in front wherever you need I will do all the um, the different ones as we go through but to start off with tuck your bottom under Big inhale, exhale, belly button back, keep your lower back into the floor, lift your body, lift the legs, come up so far to about there and then roll onto your sit bones as you draw the knees in, back goes <clears throat> nice and straight, knees level with your feet, arms out, big inhale, breathe out, tuck under, as you first roll off your sit bones onto your lower back as you straighten the legs and then inhale exhale lower all the way down 
back down to the floor. <clears throat> Obviously, if you want to go a little bit quicker with that, you can. If you're all right with it, keep going. If you're doing the little bit, I'll do the really easy one first. Hold it onto your bottom a little bit. Lift the head and shoulders up and push your elbows into the floor because that will help keep that rounded in your back there. Then once you're about here, you might be able to lift off, bring the legs up and then tuck under. Even if you want the hands down, there, extend all the way down and lower down. Okay. So that can be another way as well, hands on here. So slight bend in the knees helps your, keep your pelvis back. So your back's pushing into the floor. Lift, there, up, straighten. And then as you go down, might be that you get so far and then you just quickly drop out. That's absolutely fine. Just control it as much as you can and then just nice and gently let um, yourself drop out okay we'll just do two more squeeze so body up legs up there and up belly out bottom out and tuck under out and down and last one squeeze Back into the floor as you lift there so far and then push your belly out get onto those sit bones balance point and then roll back off the sit bones legs out body back squeeze all the way down and relax well done give those legs a good shake side to side Okay, and on we come onto our fronts. If you just want to stay in box, okay, absolutely fine. We're going to draw it back with, um, in fact, no, we'll do the um, balance first. So you're going to lift the hand off the floor first. Shoot that one arm out to the side. Then you're going to rotate up and then you're going to come back out, bring the hand in and drop it down. So the whole point is when you very first lift that hand off that you don't all of a sudden go bump and shift your body weight over to the opposite side. So that first initial move, you're taking away one of your pillars of support there. It should already start to feel a bit more tense in the tummy. Then we extend it out, throw the weight out, and then now we push down onto the hand onto the floor to reach up. We relax it back off, bring the shoulders square with the floor as we come out, bring the hand back in and drop down, okay? Then we do the same with the other side, so we can alternate. Lift, out, I can't extend that far on that side, there, and then push down on the hand that's on the floor, reach up, and then drop yourself back down, get yourself parallel with the floor, and then drop the hand back down. Okay, so same if you do same move if you're in modified or full, but obviously if you're in modified, that nice long line there, you take the hand off first, arm out to the side, keep the knees on the floor as you rotate up, bring yourself back down, hand in and drop down. Okay, or if you are in full. There, same principle, hand off first, out to the side, push on the hand as you rotate up. Try and keep the feet straight so the knees are pointing down to the floor. Hold on a minute, let me come up a little bit just so you can see my feet. So like in modified, you're keeping um, the knees on the floor. This one, there, out, as you reach up. Don't rotate the feet. 
there, back, down and drop. Let me come the other way to do the other arm because um, I'm bashing into the wall, but you might see the feet a little better from there. That's it. So we take that hand off, extend out, rotate up. back, in and drop, modified, lift off, out, really push on the hand as you rotate up, back down, in and drop, or all fours, lift up, arm out, push on the hand, twist, back, in and drop and just one more, up, out, twist, back, in, drop and come back, give the arms a good shake and the shoulders and very well done okay let's come back onto our backs right. hands and feet pointing up to the ceiling a little bit further forward okay now what I want you to do I don't know whether you'll see it so well but from here, and you can bend your knees a little bit if you want to, I want you to feel like you're arching your back as much as you can. So these ribs want to lift. You should have quite a good gap under your back there. Now, I want you to sink your back into the floor as if you've been punched in the tummy. And then reach the hands and feet up to the ceiling. So now you've got a little bit of a gap under your bottom and under your shoulders. Drop, arch your back, so the ribs want to lift as you're there. Big inhale as you arch and then breathe out. Reach both the hands and feet up to the ceiling. So drop down, big inhale, exhale. Reach drop down, big inhale as you arch your back, exhale, reach, drop down, arch, exhale, reach, you're trying to push your hands and feet up to the ceiling as much as you can, last two, arch your back, reach, <coughs> And arch, big inhale, exhale, reach, and drop down, and give the knees a good hug. Superb, okay, right, come this way a little bit, feet flat on the floor, elbows out, and then just nice and gentle, Drop the legs over and then lift up over to the other side. Try not to arch your back now, try and keep those ribs down. Lift up and over. And up and over. And two more, lift up and over and lift and over. Okay, <clears throat> onto your belly. Okay, we'll start with your hands up 
on your lower back looking down at the mat so your nose should literally be just off the mat put my hair out of the way there okay shoulders back really squeeze these bum cheeks nice and tight big inhale as you breathe out straighten the arms and then drop back down big inhale exhale inhale back down don't worry how high you're lifting it's not a competition for that it's just about getting that little bit of extension but you must keep squeezing the bum cheeks big inhale exhale lift inhale drop lift inhale drop exhale lift inhale drop and last two exhale lift inhale drop and exhale lift and drop arms down by your side just let your shoulders round Okay, and then come back sit back on your heels arms down by your sides okay and then bring your hands up by your knees head down bottom under push your hands into the floor and then starting from your bottom stick your bum out roll up shoulders back Head back and then drop your head down, roll the shoulders in, roll all the way down, tuck your bottom under and push. And then head back, shoulders back, roll all the way down and arch. And then tuck your bottom under, roll up. Shoulders in, head down, big push. And release out. Okay, well done. Right, so sitting back on your heels there. Arms outstretched, you're going to lift yourself up. Drop forward. Push up. And back lift forwards up and back if you want to go a little bit more curl the toes under hop the knees off up drop up back lift forwards up and back or just keep those knees firmly on the floor up just push yourself as far forward as you're comfortable going up and back lift forwards up and back Forwards, up and back and two more, lift, forwards, up and back and lift, forwards, Give those shoulders a 
and good roll back and forwards that's it place your hands in front round your back push the hands forward and then draw back arch the back really draw the elbows back and push forward big inhale as you extend breathe out and up forward and back Clasp your hands in front, turn your palms away round your back. And then come out, clasp your hands, lift up. Okay, and then forward onto your, um, into your lunge. Hands on your knee, lunge in, there, feel that pull coming into your hip flexor. Take this arm up and then reach, even that little bit of rotation into it. Lunge forward a little bit more. And then come back out back, lift the heel, drop down, there, and then drop, back, drop, and up, that's it, lower, drop, and up, and then drop that foot down, flip to the side, Okay, now we'll go back over the other way. I have been requested that um, you can get into the stretches easier if we start from the beginning on this one. So come forward, lunge into um, the front leg. That's it, there. So you start getting that pull. Push the hips forward. It's important to get that kind of lean back. If you're just forward and you've still got a bit of a bend in your body, you're not gonna get that stretch. You've got it almost there get that kind of banana position in your body as you go forward and then reach the arm up there brilliant and then a little bit of rotation into it and then come back lift the foot and drop forwards Lower and lift the foot. Drop. Okay, and then drop that foot down, flip to the side. There, feel the stretch. Okay, right up the inner thigh. Okay, and then up we come. And sit. Big reach up to the ceiling. And then drop the arms down, head down, shoulders in, roll down. Roll all the way down. And then tuck your bottom under, roll all the way back up. Lift up, interlock your thumbs, lean to one side, hips to the other, and lift up and over.
over and up big reach up to the ceiling rotate round and super well done excellent work everybody and um, I will look forward to seeing you next time okay bye